Good morning and welcome to the Corona Chat with Matt. Today we move into the book of Revelation. And uh, I felt so challenged this morning. Uh, and I found a golden nugget for all of us. So hopefully it will set our compass for our day. Uh, we're going to start in Revelation chapter 1 and verse 9. It says, I, John, your brother and companion in the suffering and kingdom and patient endurance that are ours in Jesus, was on the island of Patmos because of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. And we're going to stop there. You know, John was exiled. He was kicked out and basically he was brought to the island to rot. Uh, he understands what suffering for the gospel means. So he wanted those who are reading this to know that he is in their partnership, the companion in suffering. Um, you know, I feel challenged by this. Revelation was written to those who were undergoing major persecution and were in need of encouragement. Personally, a lot of times I, I need to be encouraged because I feel insecure or I'm trying to overcome sin or wanting to work on my character or facing things in, in my own life that are hard, but persecution, I really have to think about that. Uh, how often do I face persecution? Uh, Ephesians 5, we'll just kind of do a, a little, little test for ourselves here. Uh, Ephesians 5, it says, have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. Now, obeying this scripture makes others around me feel uncomfortable and causes disciples me to suffer the consequences of that when I stand up for the gospel, I stand up against sin and I call sin out in others, right? So really, uh, the ones John is directing his letter to are obviously feeling the sting of standing up for the gospel message. And I have to ask myself this question, is that me? Am I following Jesus' command to go and make disciples of all nations? And because of this, partnering up with those who originally read these words written by John, and that I can relate to the suffering because I am also standing up for the gospel. I mean, li listen to some of these, these passages. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Persecuted because of righteousness. Blessed are you when people insult, when people insult you, when people persecute you, when people falsely say all kinds of evils against you because of me, because of Christ. Truly I tell you, Jesus replied, no one who has left home or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or fields for me in the gospel will fail to receive a hundred times as much in the present age. He's assuming that we're going to leave home. He's, got, he's assuming that we're going to leave our siblings. He's assuming that we're going to leave our parents and even our children and our jobs to follow him. Blessed are you when people hate, when people hate you, when they exclude you and insult you and reject your name as evil because of the Son of Man. If the world hates you, keep in mind, it hated me first. That's what Jesus says. Who shall separate us? From the love of Christ shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword. See, Paul is assuming that we will face trouble and hardship and persecution and famine, nakedness and danger and possibly even sword, even lose our life for this gospel. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, difficulties. See, we, we should, walking in the gospel, expect to face these difficulties. In fact, everyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. What a challenge this morning. Am I living out the gospel? Maybe uh, what I should expect is something to come in return, something to work against me. Uh, because I am actually standing up for righteousness. Uh, maybe this, hopefully, uh, this sets our compass for our day, uh, that we won't shrink back, but we, we will be those who stand up and stand up for Christ and possibly we'll get ourselves into a situation where we will need the encouragement that comes from the book of Revelation. Have a great day. Love you all. Be safe.